Hey guys, Antron I'm here, and welcome back to another video. And in today's video and vlog sort of thing, I just kind of want to have a conversation with you guys. And in general, I want to tell you about quite a few things that I've been feeling in relation to YouTube, in relation to Minecraft, and in relation to playing other games on my channel and whatnot. And I just want to run like a whole bunch of things by you guys, because there's been a lot that's on my mind. And if you guys have been paying attention to my consistency in terms of the amount of videos that I've been putting out, in like the past month or two, you've noticed that I haven't been super consistent. I've been consistent to put out at least a video every other day, but even that has been a little bit of a struggle for me lately, and I feel like by releasing this video, I'm sort of addressing that problem, and I'm at least letting you guys know why that's been happening and how I feel about certain things, and at the end of the video, I'll have more questions for you guys that you guys can actually answer in the comment section down below. But anyways, uh, yeah, and forewarning, I haven't actually scripted this video out or anything like that, so apologies if there's like a whole bunch of cutting around in this video because I have no idea how many takes this is actually gonna take me. But anyways, the first thing that I wanted to get into is that I haven't been posting Minecraft videos daily. And those Minecraft videos that I have been posting, while sometimes I really do enjoy making them, there has been times that has been happening more and more often in the past year or so that I would say, where I just find myself in a situation where I feel like I need to post videos every day, but it's just a matter of, oh, I go onto the Minecraft forum or I go onto Minecraft maps or something like that, and I just look up something that seems like it is decent quality and I just wind up playing it because that's honestly about the easiest thing that you can do in terms of actually making content in Minecraft is doing just that. And while sometimes that does really pay off and I find some really incredible maps that I do legitimately really enjoy playing, uh, as of lately I haven't been enjoying making videos in that regard. Now that doesn't mean that I dislike Minecraft completely or anything like that, but I feel like the sort of vibe that I'm getting from my audience, and yes, I do realize that views have gone down over the course of like the past two years or so, and that the subscriber count like sometimes goes up, sometimes goes down. I do get that. And I feel like the reason why that happens is not because like people wind up falling out of sort of connection with me as a YouTuber, but I feel like it's because people are growing out of Minecraft. Now, I do wind up, I do actually use the internet quite a lot, and more specifically one thing that I enjoy doing is I like watching Twitch streams on Twitch.tv, and I watch a lot of Ocarina of Time streaming because it's a game that I played a lot while I was a kid, and it's a big speedrunning community. Now, every now and then when I'm chatting, because I do freely chat in the streams that I watch, people will recognize me and be like, oh man, I used to watch your content. Man, I loved your content and it was amazing, but I grew out of Minecraft. So I've been getting more and more of this lately. So what it's actually telling me is that people are not sick of me and not sick of the content that I make or the style of content that I make, but they're actually sick of Minecraft. And I can really see that at this point because Minecraft has not seen an official version update in a year and I think six months, a year and a half at this point. I think it was August of 2014 is when we got Minecraft 1.8 uh, or something like that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So, I mean, it's it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that Minecraft is dulling out in terms of the content uh, that you know you can really pump out from it. Now, the biggest thing that I've really been enjoying, you know, Minecraft lately, lately has been um, the roleplay stuff that myself and Caveman Films have has been doing. You know, Caveman Films does most of the direction on it, and I mean, I'm glad that his videos get more views than mine because I feel like the amount of work he puts into each video is like he winds up getting about twice as many views on on the episodes as I do. And I feel like that's justified because he puts about twice as much work in as I do. Uh, so yeah, I'm just like the redstone guy and when stuff doesn't break, I don't really wind up doing a whole lot. But anyways, uh, what I do want to get into is playing more like silly games that you can just sort of pick up and play and like understand visually when you wind up watching a video of it. 
The kinds of videos that I mean are things like Cookie Clicker, things like a most recent video that I did called um, Cluster Truck. That was like an amazingly silly game, and like I actually wound up playing it a little bit uh, longer afterwards. Um, I want to play more content like that on my channel. Uh, the closest thing that I can think of in terms of a variety channel is probably Nerd Cubed because I know that he does a lot of variety stuff as well. And uh, I want to be able to just you know play games on my channel that you can pick up. And understand by by and understand by watching a video of it for like 10 seconds. If you can understand the game almost in its entirety in 10 to 15 seconds, then I think it's going to be an amazing game to play. And if you guys have any suggestion for games like that on my channel that you would like to see me play, then feel free to let feel free to let me know in the comment section down below or by emailing me inbox at antvenom.com. Um, my website's antvenom.com. You can get all the contact information there. But uh, the problem with, say, making a conversion of my channel to, instead of being like 99% Minecraft to being more 50-50, is that when it comes to these silly pick up and play games, there's really only a finite amount of them out there. And if I only make one video or two videos on any certain type of game, then it really limits my ability to, you know, have that be sustainable. So if I want to play non-Minecraft games on my channel, then I have to find a way to make content like that where it's pick up and play games, easy to understand. I need to find a way to make that sustainable. And that's where I'm trapped at right now. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to really build up motivation to, well, not motivation to play games like that, but like I'm trying to think of a way to make that sustainable. And if I figure that out, that I feel like I'm gonna be naturally way more motivated to make videos, and I think it's gonna be awesome. Now, I'm not saying that I wanna drop out of Minecraft completely, or anything like that. If anything, I do wanna make it more 50-50 on my channel, but if I find a way to enjoy Minecraft again, then I'm definitely gonna be playing it more on my channel, you know? I wanted to do two videos a day at one point in time, but I just couldn't find enough uh, content to do that. Now, again, it's not that I dislike Minecraft. I sometimes play Minecraft like a couple hours a day if I'm on if I'm on my realm or something like that or if there's just something really fun that I find that I want to do. I really do quite enjoy doing um you know, redstone-y type stuff, creating maps here and there. Uh, not that often, but kind of, you know, like every couple of months or so, I really get into some map idea that I had. That's It took me like three days of straight work to make the mining challenge when I made it way back in the day. So yeah, there's plenty of instances where I do find myself really enjoying Minecraft. It's just those instances have become few and far between, and I'm definitely looking to the future uh, of, you know, my channel and whatnot, because I... I really enjoy making content. And one thing that I've really come to notice is that I almost feel a lot of demotivation in terms of making videos, where if the viewers are not enjoying the content that I make and I get comments like, you know, people are sort of sick of Minecraft or sick of a style of videos that I make or something like that, you know, because they're growing out of it or whatever, then that really demotivates me. And I've been getting a lot of that in the past year or two. And again, I feel like the realization is that I shouldn't be doing solely Minecraft on my channel. I feel like there are a lot of people out there who really enjoy the style of videos that I make, really enjoy the sort of, you know, commentary style that I represent. And I mean, I feel like, you know, I'm not trying to toot my own horn here. You guys can let me know if I'm completely wrong in this sentiment. But I think a lot of people enjoy that I try and be as genuine as I can. I do know that every now and then, my style of commentary can wind up adapting to other people who I am currently inspired by. And I've been like that my entire life. You know, I was really like super crazy about Jim Carrey when I was a kid and like Ace Ventura came out and all those movies and whatnot and just everything he was releasing and back in like the early 90s and whatnot. Like I was really, really into that, you know? Um, I was really convinced that I wanted to join the Air Force. Uh, I can't remember what my inspiration was for that, but I was really convinced that I wanted to, you know, work with computers for a living uh, because of series like Pure Ownage and whatnot, because of, you know, how much pride they bring to the PC gaming community and whatnot. And yeah, I mean, when YouTube started being a big thing in my life, especially during the Minecraft era, I was definitely heavily inspired by people who made Minecraft videos before I did. People like David R64YT, X's Adventures in Minecraft, 
and uh, scene enters as well. I actually got a lot of comments way back in the day, especially when I made my original OG intro, which is now my current intro except with the old logo. People were like, yeah, man, that seems like, uh, hello, my name is Scene Anner's intro. It looked, it actually was inspired by that intro because I'm not exactly artistically a super creative person. So when I hire people to do certain uh, bits of work, especially like artwork and intros and outros and stuff like that, I usually am like, yeah, I like this sort of like scheme, but in the style of that video. And that happens with my style of commentary as well from time to time as well. But I guess the point that I'm trying to make is I feel like there are a lot of people out there who do genuinely enjoy the content that I produce. And I feel like the reason why I may have lost actually a lot more people than I initially was thinking was because my channel has been solely, solely Minecraft. So I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below, guys, what you guys think. I can't really think of anything else that I want to say right now. However, what I do feel is that there may be a follow-up to this video. Uh, you know, whether it be answering questions or stuff like that. Um, I feel like there's at least one more follow-up that I have um, to talk about. Or, you know, just to sort of answer any remaining questions, I guess. So, yeah. Beyond this, I don't really know what else I really want to say from this point. Other than I hope that you enjoyed this video, and sorry if you've seen like interlacing lines uh, sort of in front of my face and all around me throughout this video. The lights that are lighting my face right now, the ones that just went dark here, are actually LED lights and they actually cast a lighting problem. I don't really know what that is. You can't see it with your bare eye, but the camera always picks it up. So there's that, especially if I mess with the shutter speed um, and we go up here, you can really, really start to see it here. So yeah, it's kind of kind of weird. But anyways, guys, I hope you all have enjoyed. Uh, my name is AntVenom, and I bid you all farewell, guys. Well, if anything, I don't bid you farewell, because I'm hoping for a really bright future on my channel. So if anything, I'll just say, hope you all have a good day. My name is AntVenom, and have a good one, guys. See you in the next video.